We travel to snowy, cold destinations quite often. And in our last trip to Sun Valley, we noticed that our dog was struggling and not enjoying walking on the ground when there was hard snow and ice and the temperatures were close to freezing. So we purchased the Rough Wear Dog booties for him while we were there. And we've been really happy with how these have worked for him. And he actually seems to enjoy being outside when he has these on. They're really durable um, on the bottom. So they grip to the ground. They keep his feet from being too cold. Kind of show you how you get these on. So there is a Velcro layer um, in the inside. So you just simply kind of slip their paw into the booty, you tighten with the Velcro. And I will give a tip, make sure that you do have this tight enough so that the booties are secure on their feet. And then you just simply kind of pull over the fabric and zip it up. We did find that um, snow did get packed kind of in the top of the booty. So it kind of sits like this. And often if he was in deep snow, sometimes we would have to dig that out. Now he is a puppy, so he's a little bit in between sizes, but just something to be mindful of that you wanna kind of keep the snow out of here. They also in the deep snow sometimes would fall off. So keep an eye on your dog. If they're in deep snow, just keep checking their paws occasionally as you might need to retrieve a booty. But otherwise, these worked really great. He seemed to enjoy having them on. We were able to easily get them on with him. I will post some videos of his first time wearing them. Um, another tip with this is just make sure that you measure your dog's paw before purchasing and also be mindful of that typically dogs' front and back paws are different sizes. So they sell them in sets of two just for that reason that you can get different sizes to best fit your dog. A quick tip to get your dog used to wearing booties, which can be a quite entertaining process, is give them some time to get used to them before you take them out for a big adventure. So we put them on our dog and let him just take a couple of short walks and wear them around our hotel room. We also put the front booties on first and let him kind of get a custom to that before we added in the back paws. We also gave a lot of treats while we were putting them on and getting them adjusted. So it kind of distracted him. Now, when we get out these booties, he gets excited. He's pretty patient about putting them on. The next item is the Quincy dog jacket. It's almost like your puffer that packs easily that you take everywhere with you. This jacket repels the water. It's really great if they are in snow or a little bit wetter conditions because it keeps them dry and warm. You simply just kind of slide it over their head and then it has two buckles at the bottom and you can kind of adjust depending on your dog's size. But anyway, really great covers. It has reflectors on it if you're out in the dark, but it also folds up really nicely so you can pack it with you on a trip. And the last item is the Rough Wear Fleece Dog Jacket. This one is really perfect for a cold day when it's not wet. This jacket is a little bit more difficult to get on than the Quincy jacket, which just pulls over the head. This one, you have to have them step into the two leg holes, which are on the bottom of the fleece. And then you just simply kind of pull over the rest and zip it down the side. So I will fill this one, takes a little bit more time to get on, but he loves being in this jacket. The only thing for boy dogs, or if the jacket's a little bit big on your dog, is when he is trying to go to the bathroom, sometimes the jacket might get in the way. So just be careful when you're sizing and fitting for your dog um, that you might have some extra fabric that could get wet. I will link all three of these products in the description down below so you can easily find it and decide if it is the right product for your dog this winter. Thanks for watching.